What is the best agency to start in 2023? After running both a social media marketing agency and a YouTube influencer agency up to 30,000 pounds per month, tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! I've put together a step-by-step -step guide on how you can do it yourself. So first of all, let's establish, what is an agency? The way that I see an agency is that you're a business owner and you're providing services to clients in whatever niche you're servicing. So whether you've got a YouTube agency or a social media marketing agency, for example, you're always serving clients with the best quality services. Doing this separation is that there are different services that you can offer your clients and this all depends on what agency you start. So first of all, how did I start my agency? I started my agency at the age of 16. Ooh, you're hard showing off. This enabled me to get a really, really big advantage compared to everybody else in the field. Time is key. If you give yourself more time to do something, you don't have to rush. And if you're rushing, chances are you'll make little mistakes here and there. So the earlier you can start, the better the end result will be. So the first thing I did when I started my agency is branding. Branding is a massive part of any business because it solidifies who you are and your values. At the end of the day, people buy from people and if they can see your branding is really key and you're a great service, then they are 10 times more likely to purchase from you compared to if they're seeing that you're cheap and you don't really know what you're doing. Next up, I thought about marketing. I will come to all the different strategies that I learned over marketing over the last four years later on in today's video. So the good sides of it is it gives you freedom. I don't have to work a stupid amount anymore compared to what I did when I start my agency. This is because I started outsourcing things. Outsourcing is a great thing to do once you've got to a point where you can do it without losing a load of money. But then on the other hand, when you start an agency, the pressure is massive and the hours are very, very long. I'm not gonna lie you here. If you're willing to put in the graft for it, you will reap the rewards. I really just do want to emphasize that. So how did I get my clients? There are a few different methods that I use to get clients, whether this is online advertising, in-person advertising, or purchasing leads. If I were you, once you're first starting your agency, create a social media presence and start putting out videos consistently, learn about viral sounds and viral trends on social media platforms, and utilize these and tailor these to your business model. This means you're gonna get a bunch of organic exposure for your business without having to pay a penny to any sort of advertising companies. Next up, I'll go to a bunch of in-person networking events. Whether these are invite only, you've got to build those connections to get there. And I've also found that the events that you have to pay to be there, they have much better clients there because they're not just going there for free. They've invested their time and their money to go there. So have you. And that shows you're not just going to get a bunch of cheap clients in one place. There are a few different agency markets that are really, really, really untapped at the moment. Personally, if I were you and I was going to start an agency, I would either do a short form video content agency, something to do with YouTube, whether that's a YouTube influencer marketing agency or a YouTube video production agency, or I would do something with AI. Now, this is completely up to you on what you want to do with all of these, but they do have they're good and they're bad. The struggles you may face when starting an agency is time constraint. I'm guessing a lot of you do have full-time jobs at the same time as you're gonna start your agency. You're looking to build the agency up on the side where you've got a constant income from your main job. That is a brilliant way to do it, but you will find yourself burning into the ground after a little while. So what I would do is I wouldn't spend loads of time in it, but what I would do is I would plan ahead of time so that I'm smart with the way I'm spending my time. You've really got to be very smart to outsmart all of your competition. You've got to think outside of the box massively. What I would start with first is picturing your perfect client and then figure out where the hell they are. Whether they're lurking around on Facebook, whether they're on Instagram, whether they're on TikTok or in-person networking meetings, you find where they are and you get yourself there. It doesn't matter how you get there, you've just got to be straight in front of the client and doing what you do best and pitching to them. But I would advise not to do a really strong sales pitch to them. Warm them up over time. Have a coffee with them. Have a load of Zoom meetings with them. If you're warming them up over time, they're much more likely to purchase from you in the end. I'm gonna come back to branding again. If you've got your branding absolutely on point and crystal clear, this increases the likelihood that a client's gonna go with you because you've built a perspective up in their mind that you know what you're doing. When I say branding, I mean your brand colors, I mean slogans, I mean logos, all of the above, including a website as well. A website is extremely important. For example, if you've got business cards and you're giving these out at networking meetings and they're going to your website and it's absolutely terrible, you're already one nil down in the first half. And let me tell you, you do not want to be doing that. So make sure your branding's on point and then go out to all of the clients. But you've got to also decide what sort of client you want to go after. Is the client an individual? Is it a business? Who is it? And once you can define down to a T what client that is, where they are, and how you're going to get to them, this will be a whole lot easier. Here comes the money. Here we go. And once you first started getting your first few clients in and you're looking to go, okay, here I am at the moment, I want to get these bigger clients. Now, how do you do that? 
There's something brilliant called Bark. I use Bark a bunch for all of my outreach. Essentially what you do is you buy credits on the platform and people put up job listings. For example, I get a bunch of social media marketing job listings that come up where people want me to help them with their social media marketing. This is already a warm lead. You get all of their contact details, what their monthly budget is, and every single thing about the business you could ever want to know, which puts you in at a really strong point at getting that business. It is a little bit of an investment to start with, but a little top tip. Sign up to it straight away, but don't pay anything to start with. Over a few weeks, they'll begin sending you emails and they'll give you a double credits thing. <laughs> <laughs> and this is also a guarantee. So when you pay money for the credits, I say if you don't get any clients from them for whatever reason, then they're going to give you all your money back. So there's literally no risk involved in it at all. God, I sound like I'm pushing this so hard. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by these guys, I, I promise. Next up, in-person networking, take a look at BNI. BNI is absolutely brilliant. This has made me go from my business level to go from here all the way up to here. You get in a room with 30 to 40 different business owners every single week and you get to say a 60 second pitch about your business. Therefore, they all know a load of people that they can refer you to and give you the business for and you can do the same back to them. And a lot of the time, they'll actually use your services as well. This is a great investment, a really, really, really fantastic one when you're first starting up. The next one is a little bit different. So I've been speaking to a bunch of different marketing agencies about this one and we've all found one thing in common that really works. So at the moment, Everyone does that outreach online. Whereas in the olden days, they all did it physically like letters, etc. The first person who sent an email in the olden days is a very, very, very rich man now. And now it's sort of the other way around. So what I advise you do is you put together a nice letter, you handwrite it, and then when you put the envelope on, put a pound coin on the envelope and put some nice tape on it as well so it doesn't get lost. And in your letter, include something about earning free money and getting used to it. This is absolutely amazing way to get some new business in. This shows you're ballsy, you know what you're doing, and you can afford to spend the money, which means you've got the clients to be able to fund that. And that builds a lot of trust. Next up is outsourcing. Once you get to a point where you've got a decent amount of clients in, but you feel like you're spending so much time on there still, this is the time to outsource. For whatever agency that you are making, you need to outsource to somebody who is just as good at you and save you some time. Therefore, you can do the things that you're good at and spend less time doing the things you're bad at and don't enjoy. This just makes the whole process of growing an agency so much more enjoyable. And finally, client retention. Once you've got a client on, you don't want to lose them because that's your cash flow gone. What I'd advise doing to keep your clients very happy is sending weekly emails with them to check in, include a link to booking a call with you on there as well through Calendly, and once per month, either send them a letter buy them some flowers, do something to show you appreciate them because 99% of agencies are not doing this and it's just another bit of ammunition as to why they should stay with you. Right, I'm going to wrap this video up here, guys. If you've enjoyed this, please drop me a subscribe down below, like the video, comment what you'd like to see next and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.